In this video, I'm going to cover the specifics about replacing a lead acid battery with a lithium iron battery in a small UPS. I'm going to cover specifics about the UPS that I'm using, the capacity of the lithium iron battery, and other aspects. To do this, I'm going to need to know the maximum voltage that the UPS is going to charge a battery to, the minimum voltage that the UPS will run on with that battery as it gets discharged, and then look at the capacity of the lithium iron battery between those two voltages. And here I'm showing the maximum voltage that this UPS would charge a battery to. This is with no battery connected. The UPS is plugged into the wall and we're basically getting about 13.5, somewhere between 13.5, 13.6 volts. So that would be the maximum voltage that this UPS could charge uh, any battery connected to it. For this test, I'm going to measure the battery cutoff voltage, where when the battery goes to a certain voltage, at what point does the backups actually completely shut off? So I'm using my power supply here, adjustable power supply, to pretend to be a battery, and we'll adjust the voltage down to see at what point does the UPS cut off. So it's unplugged. I'm going to now turn it on. The UPS is now running on my pretend battery or my power supply here. 13.6 volts, that's typically the full voltage of a uh, lead acid battery. So as I turn the voltage down, um, we're going to see the UPS runs fine, and it goes down to 11, and it's still running pretty well. No issues yet. And then we're going to go down a tenth of a volt at a time and see at what point does it actually cut off. So 10.7 still good. I'm going to have 10.6 still good. And 0.5 still good. 10.4 that's it. The UPS cuts off at 10.4 volts. Okay, I've configured the 10 amps at the current voltage, and we'll give it a start. I sped up the video here, but basically I started with a 10 amp current draw, and I increased that all the way up to the maximum that my capacity meter would do, which is 15 amps. And I let that run for probably about 30 seconds, and the BMS did not cut off. So we know that this battery can supply 15 amps at least for a while. Here I've set up the capacity meter to measure the capacity of my lithium iron battery. I'm going to be drawing 10 amps. Um, we've got the timer set to zero, and we're going to start now. And we can see right now it's about 130 watts, and this is basically going to run until the capacity of the battery is zero, which should be around 10 volts with the BMS. So here I asked ChatGPT, what is the top voltage of a lead acid battery? And it gave me some responses. Um, as you can see the, uh, from my initial shot, the battery type I did have was an AGM. And you can see that the float voltage is between 13.2 and 13.8. UPS is roughly 13.5, 13.6. So it's, it's well in that range. Then I asked ChatGPT if I have an 8 amp hour AGM lead acid battery that's charged to 13.6 volts and discharged to 10.4 volts, which we found was the shutoff voltage earlier, how much capacity will I have used? And it basically tells me 100%.
So we can see we've used close to the 8 amp hour of capacity. There are some caveats though, as you can see here, where it says discharging a lead acid battery below 11.8 volts can shorten the life of AGM batteries. And it also says going all the way to 10.4 volts is not recommended as it will deeply discharge the battery and may cause sulfation or permanent capacity loss. Next, I asked the same question regarding a lithium iron battery that's 10 amp hours rated. And here it gives a breakdown of the voltage and about how much capacity would be available. And here it gives a comparison of the scenarios between the AGM lead acid and the lithium iron. And basically you can see toward the bottom here, it says usable capacity is just short of the full 10 amp hours going from 13.6 volts all the way to 10.4 volts. You can see the life cycle is also significantly larger. And finally here it gives a little summary of about how much capacity you could get out of each with the lead acid, about 8 amp hours with the lithium iron, it's about 9.8 amp hours. And there's some important notes at the bottom. And in summary, we can see that uh, replacing a lead acid with a lithium iron should be just fine. The only caveat that would be concerning is if your UPS is going to be drawing more wattage than the battery can supply. I plan to create another video regarding that later. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.